In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process to install the Facebook Pixel on your WordPress website. This style also works with Shopify and other landing pages of your choice, just if you are not using WordPress. Even if you are a complete Facebook Ads beginner, you will find this step-by-step -step Facebook Pixel tutorial very easy to follow. And by the time we are done installing the Facebook Pixel, we are going to set up the Facebook Events too. So this is a complete package in one, and you want to make sure you stay and see the tutorial from beginning to the end. So first things first, make sure that you are signing to Facebook on the browser that you want to use for this process. And once you're signed in, you want to open a new tab and then you want to go to business.facebook.com. All right. So once you get to your meta business suite, you want to come to settings here and click on that. Okay. So it's going to bring you up to this point. But just in case, if you are not even sure if all of this is well set up properly in your Facebook ad in the first place, you want to watch this video currently on your screen that video shows you exactly how to get started afresh just if you're not sure if your facebook ad manager is even set up the correct way in the first place okay so i'll also leave the link to that video in the video description so if you are here with me what you want to do is that you want to come to these data sources and click on the drop down arrow and then you want to scroll all the way down before now it used to be pixel that we should go to but right now facebook has done some changes therefore we are not going to be going to the pixels directly here rather we want to come to data sets here and click on data sets okay so once you do that you can see it's going to bring you up to this point and then you want to come to this blue add button you want to click on add okay so here i'm requested to create a new data set so i'm just going to give my pixel a name so I'm just going to give it digital or let me just say dquill pixel. Okay, so I'm going to give mine dquill pixel one. All right, so once I do that, I'm going to come here and I'm going to click create. All right, so as you can see here, my data set dquill pixel one has been created successfully. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to install this pixel on my website or my WordPress website or Shopify or whichever landing page that you want to install your pixel in. So to do that, what I'll do is, is to come down to these three dots here and I'm going to click on that and then it's going to ask me to open an event manager and I will go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's going to bring me up to this point. All I want to do here is to scroll down here and I want to come to this set up meta pixel all right so as you can see here facebook is offering us two different methods by which we can connect our meta pixel to our wordpress website or shopify or whichever landing page you want to use you can see that the first one here says that we should install code manually and the second is saying we should use a partner integration or a plugin so the way it works here is that if you use the second method then Facebook already have some plugins or tools that they have made which you can use to integrate your website to your Facebook pixel, okay? But then it's not a very common or popular method. The easiest method that we're going to be using here is to install the code manually. Don't worry, you're doing nothing with trying to code or anything. All we're just going to do here is to copy something and paste it on our website. And I think that is the easiest method, so we're going to go with that. So what I'll do here is just to click on install code manually. All right, so it's going to bring me up to this point. All I need to do, don't touch anything here. Just come to this copy code and then you're going to click on that. So now that we have successfully reached this point, what we need to do now is to go to our WordPress website and then install this code on the header section of our WordPress website. Again, like I said, you don't need to worry about where that is. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just very simple steps. So let's get over to our WordPress website. All right. So once you get to your WordPress website, of course, you want to come to the back end here. And what we want to do right now in order to install our Facebook pixel code very easily is to install a new plugin if you don't already have that plugin installed in your WordPress website. So what you want to do here is that you want to come to plugins here and then you want to come to add new plugin. Okay, so once it brings you here, you want to come to this search plugin here. Okay, and then you want to search for WP code just as you see me do. Okay, so here is it. And as you can see here, it has over 2 million active installations showing you that it's a safe plugin to use. 
So you want to come to this install now and click on that and wait for the installation to be complete. And then you want to activate this plugin. All right, so now this plugin has been activated on our website. So what you want to do here now is that you want to come in here. So here is it. It's also called Code Sniper. So what you want to do right now is that once you over your mouse on the code sniper here, it's going to display these options for you. You want to come down to the header and footer here and click on that. All right, so once you do that, it's going to display this for you. Okay, so what we want to do now is that we're going to paste the code that we copied from Facebook right here. And then we're going to paste it in this header section. So all you need to do is just to click on the first line here and then you're going to paste that code. That is all it takes. And if peradventure you already had this particular plugin installed on your website and you have other codes pasted before now, it's not a problem. All you need to just do is to enter, you know, use your enter button and then open a new line and then you're going to paste this same code. It's just that simple. So once you're done with that, you want to come to save changes. Okay, so once you click on save changes, this code sniper has been installed successfully onto the header portion of your WordPress website. So once you've done that successfully, you're going to come back to your Facebook here and then you want to scroll all the way down here and then you want to click on continue. Okay, so it's going to bring you to this point. You want to come to this turn on automatic advanced machine. So you're going to toggle that on as you can see. So once you do that, you're going to click on continue. Okay, so once you do that, you want to come to this add event button here. You want to click on that. And then once this pop-up opens for you, all you need to do is to go back to your WordPress website. And then you want to copy the link of your WordPress website. I mean, your URL. You want to copy it out. And then you want to come and paste it right in here. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you copy the root URL of your website, not a page or a post, okay? So once you do that, you want to click on add events. All right, so once you click that, it's going to redirect you automatically back to your website, as you can see here. So what you can see here is that you can actually add events on this particular page. And then if you come to this button here, it says track new button. You want to track new buttons on this page. But if this is not the page that you want to use to set up your event on Facebook, then you want to come to this track a URL. And then if you click on that, you're going to need to type in the exact URL that you want to set up your events on. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to my buttons because that is where I want to set my events on. So I'm going to cancel this. And then I'm going to come to track new buttons here. I'm going to click on that. So once I click on that, you can see that all the buttons on this page will be highlighted for me to set up my event on them. So what I will do right now is that I will come to the first button here. So the way it works is that this is the page that I want to use to run my ad, for example, so that once anybody comes to this page, every event that they partake or they do on this particular page, Facebook is going to record them for me. This is how it works. So this is my first clickable button. So I'm going to click on this one. And then once I do, it's going to bring this pop-up again for me. So it's going to ask me to select an event. So I'll just come right here and I'll click on the drop-down arrow. So you can see these are the various events that you can set up for this particular button. But the particular event you're going to set up will actually depend on the goal that you want to achieve if anybody click on this button. So for me, this is just a button that is going to show my prospective customers more information about this particular program I'm selling. So here, what I'm going to use is that I'm going to come here and I will just look at this and pick one that I think is the best event that describes this particular action that I want them to partake in. So for this particular one, I will just click on complete registration. It's going to be that. So what is going to happen is that anybody that click on this information will go to the next page where they're going to see more details about this program and then they can you know apply for it so i'm going to use complete registration once i do that i'm going to click on confirm all right so once that is done if you look at this button you can see here that this event has been recorded so if i scroll all the way down i still have two more buttons that i want to set up events for so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to click on track new button and then you can see here that this one is directly telling them to make purchase. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click on this button again. And then this pop-up is going to open up again for me. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing. 
So this time around, I can decide to use purchase because this button is directly leading them to make a purchase. So then I'm just going to select purchase here. So once you click on purchase, it's going to ask if you want to add value to this particular button. Now, if I had a price point on this particular page before, then I can actually choose a value for this particular button. So because I don't have a price point on this particular page, I'm just going to ignore the value. So I'll just say don't include value. And then I'm going to confirm that. So you can see now that this particular one has also been set up. So finally, like I said, I have three buttons. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the top button. And then I'm going to click on track new button again. I'm going to click on the button again. It's going to bring this up for me. So you can see here, this is start here. So I'm going to come back to my event. And then I'm just going to click on initiate checkout. Okay. So like I said, you can choose any event that you want. Okay, so this one again, I won't include any value. I'm going to confirm that. All right, so these are the three buttons that I want to set up events for here. And I'm done already, as you can see. So once I'm done setting up event for this page, all I need to do is to come to finish setup here. And then I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on finish. All right, I'm just going to skip this. Okay, so it's going to bring me back to this point here. So now that I am done setting up my event on my website, all I need to do is test if these events are actually working like I want them to work. If I want to test events, I'm going to come to this test event button here. I'm going to click on that. And if you feel that you're sure that everything is working fine, you don't want to test any events, you just click on done. But for the sake of this tutorial, I want us to test the events to be sure that what we did is correct. So I'm going to click on the test event button. Okay, so once it brings me here, I want to come to this second option that says confirm that your website event are set up correctly. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and then I'm going to just come right here and then I'm going to paste my website URL down here. Again, once I do that, it's going to bring the test event button active here. So I'm going to click on test events. Okay, so once I do that, it's going to bring me back to my website. So you can see that on my website, remember that I have three buttons. This is the first button. This is the second button and this is the third button. So what I'm going to do here, I will just assume that I'm a visitor on this website and then I've looked at this. I want to click on the more information. The whole idea is that once I click on more information, my Facebook pixel will fire and then it's going to record an event that somebody has just performed on this particular page. So I'm going to click on more information. And once I do that, I'm going to come back to my event here. And as you can see here that it's receiving activity. If I come here, you can see that this is complete registration like I did initially. You can see that it's already processed. So that shows that this particular one is working. Of course, page view is a general one. It shows that I'm receiving activity. So if I come back to the website and let's check for the second. Okay, this, let me go back. Okay, so I'm going to come to the buy here now. Remember, this one is to make direct purchase. So once I click on that, I'll come back to my event. And let's see, you can see that purchase has also been you know, confirmed to be working. So that shows that my setup is working perfectly on my WordPress website. So it's simple, guys. Like I said, you can also use this on your own website, even if it is not a WordPress website. All you need to do is just to probably chat the support of the website that you're using or the content management system that you're using and tell them how to install the Facebook pixel on the header section of their page. They will tell you exactly how to do that and then you follow the same process and you see that you get up to this point. It is just as simple as that. So very quickly, we are not yet done. We have just a step more to go because the truth of the matter is that if you are done at this point, you still need to add that Facebook pixel to the Facebook ad account that you want to be using to run your ad. If you don't do that, you will not be able to use this pixel. Okay, so I'll come back to this page here. I will just refresh this page. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to scroll down again at this data set option here. I'll click on data set. All right, so as you can see here, this is my dequil pixel one. That is the pixel that I just created. So what I want to do right now is that I want to come to connect asset button here and I'm going to click on connect asset. And then I'm going to click on other business assets here. 
As you can see, this is my ad account. This is the only ad account I have on this particular account. So if you have more than one, all you need to do is to select the particular ad account that you want to use to run your ad. So mine is only one. I'm just going to click on the deep wheel here, and then I'm going to click on ad. All right, so you can see that one ad account has been added to the data set, and I'm just going to click on done. So this is exactly how to go about that. So finally, let's just go back to my ad account, and let's see if this pixel is working on that particular ad account. So I'm going to come back to my meta suit here. I'm going to click on all tools here, and then I'm going to go to my adverts manager. Okay, so you can see that this is my ad account here. I'm just going to click on create. Okay, so here I'm going to choose the lead ad. I'm going to continue. All right, I'm just going to go on to my ad set. Okay, I'll just scroll all the way down here. I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down here again. I'm going to click on next. So if you already know how to run ads, you will know that our Facebook pixel is going to show up in the ad section. So all I need to do is just scroll all the way down. And then as you can see here, that Dequil Pixel 1 is already working, it's showing green and it's firing. So it shows that our entire process of setting up our Facebook Pixel is working perfectly. So all I need to do is just to go ahead and make sure that this ad is well set up and then I can publish my ad and start gathering information using my Facebook Pixel. So this is exactly how to go about setting up your Facebook Pixel for your ad campaign. So this is how to install the Facebook Pixel on WordPress and set up your events tool for your lead or sales Facebook ads. If you have any question for me, then go ahead and drop them in the comment section. I will read and respond to them. Please, if you find this video useful, then help me to like it and share it on your social handles. I believe there is someone out there also that we will find this information very helpful. If you are an unsubscribed visitor to this channel and you love to see more digital marketing videos like this one, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the alert notification so that YouTube can notify you when I publish a new video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.